All right, guys, welcome to your 11th tutorial. And now that we created all the, the kind of the hard work, the dirty functions, all we need to do now is pretty much just call them all. So let me just go ahead and create a function. And I'm just going to call this main. And it's not even going to take any parameters. The main job of this is pretty much to call every other function that we created. So again, like I said, what this is going to do is it's going to open up a file and it's going to loop through every line of the file and every line is basically a company now for each of these companies it's going to download the data and store it into a database so let me go ahead and the very first thing we need to do is we need to open up this main ticker master dot text so in order to do that remember just go ahead and create a variable I'm just going to name mine main ticker file and set this equal to f open because that is the function that opens files allows you to work with files now the name of the file is oh freaking phlegm in my throat ticker master dot text it's a text file it's going to be stored in the same directory uh, as this stock downloader.php. Now the permissions is read. We only want to read the stuff from the file, nothing else. So now what we need to do is just like we did in this file to database, we're going to read each of these lines one by one because each line is a different company. Each company deserves its own little work. So remember how to do this? We put while end of file and this is feof and as a parameter you just write what is the file that you're working with the file object main ticker file so this is basically gonna search this is basically gonna loop through until you get to the end of this main ticker file right here and what do we want to do well just like before we want to get each one of these line by line by line and we want to save it as a string so we just want to put company ticker and remember this is going to be either Yahoo or Google or something like that and how do we get a string of text does anyone remember F gets now for F gets just go ahead and put main ticker file and why do we need to put this right here because this is going to move the pointer in this file object so that's why we need to do that so now the company ticker is going to be equal to Yahoo the first time it loops through Google the second time then Netflix and it's going to keep looping through and eventually end with Adobe however I just want to add one little check before I continue sometimes whenever you're inserting you accidentally hit space at the end or you know maybe even at the beginning whenever you get a line I just want to make sure that it trims any white space away so let me just go ahead and do that real quick and you do that trim just takes the string as a parameter and this is you know you shouldn't need to call this but just in case someone makes a mistake whenever they're considering company it's a nice check to have so now what I need to do is remember in order to download the data you first need to create that URL and we did that using the create URL function so let's go ahead and copy this in the next line for each company what we want to do is we want to create the URL from where our script is going to download the data from and let's just go ahead and save this in a variable called file URL and set this equal to create URL for the company ticker so let me just go ahead and copy this real quick so what this is gonna do is at first it's gonna create a URL and remember this was the URL that we can download data from it's gonna create one for Yahoo and then it's gonna create one for Google and Netflix and so on and so forth so all we did in this line is we're just getting a string a URL so now this file URL is equal to some file some URL just a string of text so now what we want to do is we want to download and save the file from this URL right here so the first thing we need is a location to where we can save it as now I didn't show you guys this but this is a real easy thing you don't need to see me do this what I did is I already created a folder on my server called text files now I'm gonna go ahead and put company company do I want to write it like that yeah I think so company text file and I'm gonna set this equal to the directory and <clears throat> what this is is I'm basically gonna 
set this equal to a file name. Now each of these file names have to be unique because whenever I save this data as a text file it needs to save it somewhere so that's what I'm creating right now. So where do I want to save each of these companies text files? Well like I said I already created a folder on my uh, server called text files you'll see later on whenever I upload them and remember whenever you're working with files you need to hit slash and here's another thing I'm gonna name each of these files yahoo.txt goog.txt nflix.txt and there's a space right at the end of there nflix.txt so in order to do that whenever you're writing the file name you just don't write it like this because that's gonna name everything yahoo just go ahead and append a variable which is the company's ticker and you'll see what's going on in just about five seconds and then what you want to do right after this is just append the ending text now what this is going to do is basically going to loop through each of these lines of text and it's going to save each of those files as that name yahoo.txt google.txt and that's what we're going to be doing so right here we created the URL of where we can download the data from and right here we're saying okay this is what we want to save the file as we want to save it as whatever name it was dot text and we want to save it in a file called text files easy enough so now what we need to do is we actually need to download and save those files because like I said we just created a bunch of strings right here we didn't do anything now remember in order to download and save the files we created ooh, I kind of stutter there we created a function called get CSV files and what it does is basically you pass it in a URL and it downloads you know pretty much whatever is at that URL so just go ahead and hit get CSV file and instead of these parameters the first one is the URL where is the location of the file that you want to download well it's at that file URL and now this output file is basically asking okay now that we have this where do you want to save it basically what do you want to name your file what do you want to save your file as we want to save it as whatever this thing was right here yahoo.txt google.txt so on and so forth so now what we did pretty much is we have this file and it is saved on our server as a text file as a text file we can't work with a text file so now what we need to do is we need to convert that text file to a database oh what do we have right here a nice function that converts text files to databases how freaking convenient who would have known to build that so now let's just go ahead and do that and the first parameter is what is the text file that you're going to be using well the text file is company text file right like that and remember this is uh, populated with um, uh, information now it's populated with data now thanks to get CSV file and the second parameter is the name of the table basically what is the name of the table that you're gonna insert what's the name of the table that you want to insert this data into and remember I just named it the exact same thing as my company ticker so that's the cool things I have a file like I'm gonna have a file named yhoo.txt and my table name is named yhoo and I have a file named googt.txt and my table is named goog they all reference the uh, ticker so it's really easy whenever you're inserting stuff into your database or looking through it on your server or anything like that so now check it out you may think we're done but we're not we have I'm just kidding we only have one line of code to go we have four functions right here um, create URL get CSV file file to database and main so now all we need to do is call main so just go ahead and write main and check it out so it's basically gonna say include this these are my functions and now I'm calling main and whenever it calls main it's gonna kick off and call all these other functions so now what I want to do is upload this to my server test it out and I'm sure I have plenty of bugs and you guys are gonna stick with me until I you know debug this thing so sorry you gotta watch that but hey it's part of programming so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video